a very good morning to all now we had studied nutrition is of two types autotrophic and heterotrophic autotrophic were those organisms who could prepare the food by themselves heterotrophic was those organisms which were dependent on other plants or animals now example of autotrophic nutrition is plants plants are said to be autotrophic in nature now if plants are autotrophic can you tell how do plants produce their own food now you can see the plants are made up of roots stems leaves flower now plants produce food by their own now how is it possible what happens is plants with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll is present in the leaves which make the plant green in color using the water and nutrients from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air plants try to prepare their food by themselves this process is called as photosynthesis photo means light synthesis means combining so in presence of sunlight plants combine the various elements so that they can produce their own food you can see in the diagram the sun shines produces sunlight the chlorophyll present under the leaves the roots absorb the water and nutrients and carbon dioxide from the air they all come into action to produce food for the plant which is called glucose glucose the formula you can see c6 h12 o6 this is the molecular formula for glucose glucose is the food obtained after the process of photosynthesis is over now basically in photosynthesis what happens is six molecules of carbon dioxide and six molecules of water they combine with each other in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll now in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll they give us food in the form of glucose and when plants take in carbon dioxide they give out oxygen so producing food and releasing oxygen are the end products of photosynthesis so photosynthesis is the process by which how plants prepare their food now what happens is plants convert the light energy into chemical energy and store it in the form of food and what is the food called glucose the light energy from where are we getting the light energy we are getting the light energy from the sun the water and minerals are absorbed from the roots from the soil we water the plants and the watering and the manure that is it is a supplement of nutrients given to the soil which is absorbed from the roots passed to the stem the stem transports them to the leaves now the leaves have microscopic openings called stomata why we are calling them microscopic openings because it cannot be seen with the naked eye we need to view it through a microscope 
so the leaves have microscopic openings called stomata through which they take in carbon dioxide from the air they take in carbon dioxide from the air now you can see the chloroplast present in the leaves contain chlorophyll you can see the chloroplast which is present and inside there there is a green pigment called chlorophyll because of chlorophyll the plants appear to be green in color the chloroplast which absorb the sunlight helping it to convert carbon dioxide and water into food since the chloroplast are present in the leaves contain chlorophyll and they help the photosynthesis to carry forward but chlorophyll will not take part in the reaction it only helps the reaction that is it only helps the photosynthesis to take place without itself undergoing any change so it is due to chlorophyll the plants carbon dioxide and water take in are converted into food glucose and oxygen gas is released out so you can see how the process of photosynthesis takes place besides leaves photosynthesis takes place in some other parts like green stem too as they contain chlorophyll you can see how the sunlight is responsible for the photosynthesis now you can see in the diagram these are the different colored leaves we are seeing so if they do not have chlorophyll or they do have chlorophyll how does the process of photosynthesis takes place now besides chlorophyll most plants have other pigments carotenoids which usually appear yellow to orange if carotenoids are present the leaves appear yellow to orange and if anthocyanins are present the leaves appear red to purple when these pigments are present in large amount the color of the leaf is other than green it is not that the pigment chlorophyll is not present but the content of chlorophyll is micro in micro quantity and carotenoids and anthocyanins are major here the chlorophyll needed for photosynthesis is hidden among the colorful pigments so the plant with dark red or purple colored leaves perform photosynthesis just like green leaf as but they are different in color because of carotenoids and anthocyanins i hope i am clear with how plants carry out photosynthesis thank you